What up, folk? It's a Sports Plus Life Quickie. I'm at my homeboy Sean's house, and um, we just got finished watching the game. Um, well, the games, uh. A um, couple of photo finishes. The um, Colts, Adam Vinatieri, missed the field goal, and that's what he get for making the field goal last week against my Broncos. Uh, the Philadelphia Eagles... Uh, had a 19-0 lead and managed to survive a rally by the Chicago Bears, but they won. They're 5-4. And, and a very good game. Also, the Kansas City Chiefs just beat the Minnesota Vikings with a walk-off field goal by Harrison Butker. So, I don't know if Sean feel like being on camera because I just want you guys to hear how objective he would be about his Eagles winning, even though... It got a little spotty there in the fourth quarter. So I can see. You don't know. Let's see. Let me get my flip-flops. You trying to, uh, um, yeah, get your flip-flops to come here. <laughs> but anyway, how's everybody doing? Everybody doing? Everybody doing good? Blessed day. Blessed day. Sunday. Great day. Great day. All right. So now the games that are going on, the Lions and the Raiders just started you're looking for Green Bay and the Chargers. And, oh, <laughs> the Dolphins. Look like the Dolphins are going to get their first win. Oh, the Jets look pathetic. The Jets really look pathetic. How Adam Gase maintains a head coaching job is beyond me. Because outside of one year, when they uh, the Dolphins made the playoffs in 2006, he ain't been nothing. You know, nothing. And I don't even want to hear about, well, he never has, his starting quarterbacks are always injured. They're always hurt. But you know what? Great coaches find ways to adjust. You know, where you don't miss but so much of a beat. Where you're still in contention. Look at Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin's doing a, he doing a great job. Look like the Steelers were just going to be trash. What, they like just four and, they're four and five now? I see, baby. And my daughter right there. That's what coaching is all about. You know, look at um, look at Andy Reid. You know, coaching. Put Matt Moore in a, a good situation. Plus, when you got all them track stars in Kansas City, that's what you got. Look, there he is. There he is. Eagles won, but Eagles won. He got the sweatshirt on. Oh, no, it's cold outside. You know, so. They still look like trash. This is my Sports Plus Life quickie, man. You you want to be on? <laughs> you want to be on or not? I had to get right here. It's where the, the, the get good light from since. No, I look a mess, bro. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Well, they can hear you. Oh. Uh. <laughs> they won. Alshon Jeffrey got hurt. Maybe look like he may have some concussion stuff going on with him. We should have picked up Josh Gordon. But they had an impressive drive where pretty much when the Bears, they had like about a four-and-a-half-minute drive where the Bears didn't get the ball back until, well, actually, they didn't get the ball back because they messed up the kickoff. Yeah. <laughs> but we almost gave up. That's stupid. We almost gave that game up. Though. Here we go. 14 and 9. What you mean here we go? I'm just saying, here we go. Trash. That's what it is, right? I mean, like, seriously. Like, like how, how? Mr. Trubisky. It's like we can't even move the ball. Offense is due to But they are 5 and 4 heading into their bye week. And then got the Patriots coming up. <laughs> but the NFC is top heavy. Like I said, with the Vikings losing. Green Bay could actually put a little bit of distance if they beat the Chargers or when they beat the Chargers because they do have the head-to-head -head game against Minnesota so far. I see, baby. But anyway, um, quickies don't usually last this long. So. <laughs> Especially when you got to go to work. So, <laughs> so I'm going to get up with y'all. I'm going to get up with y'all this week. Deuces.